Um, sir, sorry to bother you. Hey, you. Who are you? Careful, I'm warning you. I'm not afraid of you, okay? What do you want? Why did you do that? There must be some misunderstanding. Because you reckon theft is all about misunderstanding, do you? Give me my hands back. Now. Your hands? And what are those on the ends of your arms? I can explain everything to you. You see, I'm no thief. You broke uh -huh. my train, assaulted my driver, mutilated him, and stole his hands. Apart from that, you are not a thief. <laughs> I have not stolen them, miss. Only borrowed them for a while. You've got to be joking. I'm not joking with you, miss. I would never take such liberties. They belong to us, my automaton engineer. Why did you steal them? They are extraordinary. Real mechanical wonders. I would never have been capable of designing such hands myself. Never. Such workmanship. Such precision crafting. It is... It is incredible. Absolutely incredible. And just because you like them, you decided to steal them? I have only borrowed them, little missy. Temporarily, you understand? Of course, I shall return them to you when I don't need them anymore. You can... Excuse me? You see, these hands are all I need to complete my plan. At last, I can finish off my automaton pianist and fulfill my dreams. Everything is now in place. You see, I have converted this old, useless, stupid factory into a magical theater. Ah. As you can see, the furnaces, piping, chimney stacks, they've all been converted into one gigantic organ. I will be able to accompany the world's greatest living singer. Now all I need is her. <gasps> Who are you? Sergei Borodin, the director of the industrial city of Komkolsgrad. Or hmm. what is left of it at least. But who are you, for that matter? And why have you stopped in my station without authorization? I didn't choose to stop in your station, but my train has a technical problem. My name is Kate Walker, and I'm an American lawyer. It is very kind of you to come so far just to visit this place. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, it wasn't just a visit. Uh, I repeat again, I never intended to stop here. I'm on a business trip. I'm a lawyer, goddammit. Goddammit, Jim! Right. I'm a lawyer, not a doctor! What brings you here? Like I said, a stupid mechanical hitch. And a legal one. I'm sorry, I can't make heads or tails out of your story at all. Without my engineer's hands, I'm stuck here, you see? Everything I have designed, all that I have invented, everything is for her. Do you realize her? Oh, to hear her sing one more time here in my factory. But who is she? Who are you talking about? Helena. The one and only Helena Romansky. Her voice is so pure, like an angel. One day she came here to Komkolsgrad. She sang here, you know. When our industrial city was in its heyday. Oh, mm. so long ago now. It was almost unreal. It was magical. I remember it like it was yesterday. Then, later, a long time later, she saved my soul. She saved my life and gave it meaning. When I was told that the mining program was to be abandoned, that this industrial city was consigned to oblivion, that I, its director, would from then on be nothing but a guardian of these rusting remains of a bygone age. That is when I first formed my plan. 
to bring Helena Romanski back to this factory. But this time, she would sing for me, and me alone. And is she okay about this? Yeah. Sure, sure. Once she finds out that I have done all this for her, when she realizes how I converted this vast network of pipes and tubes to create one of the most impressive organs ever made. Then, you know, this was no small achievement, miss. Once molten iron flowed through here, now there wafts only beautiful melodies. But then I realized I had to make an automaton pianist. I began to despair that I would never create hands that were intricate enough. But then you arrived. So lucky, don't you think? <laughs> yeah, that must have been a happy coincidence for someone around here. Mm. So, when will this Madame Romansky come back? When do I get my hands back? I don't know. Maybe someone should look for her. Tell her. Hey, why don't you go? The quicker you bring her back, the sooner you can carry on your business. But life. I can't. Now, isn't that a good idea? No. And you promise that once Helena has sung, you will give me back my automaton's hands? I promise, my dear. You have my solemn word. Well, I guess I'm going to have to believe you. Where should I go hunting for this singer, then? I have no idea. But for a woman of the world like yourself, finding her should pose no obstacle. Helena Romanski was a world celebrity, you know. I have collected many objects, souvenirs of her that I keep in a room. A shrine to her glory. Uh... It's like her own personal museum, in a way. You should take a look. Okay, I'm gonna have to keep her very far away from you. Creepy, creepy dude. I'm gonna have to keep her very far away from you. This whole story is completely nuts. Agreed. And what if I helped you to make some other hands just for your automaton? Why should life be complicated when I already have what I need? And I very much doubt you are in any position to create such a perfect pair of hands. Yeah, otherwise you would have just made them and pissed off. You mentioned an automaton pianist, didn't you? Where did you find it? I pieced it together myself, my dear. Except for the hands, that is. I admit that I underestimated the intricacy of this part of the design. A pianist's hands are very important, after all. But enough. Now he has a perfect set of hands. Your passion amazes me. Have you designed any other automatons here? No. Clockwork <sighs> mechanisms do not interest me as such. Huh. I simply needed a robot capable of accompanying Helena Romanski on my huge organ. <laughs> I adapted an existing model. Your huge organ, you say, sir? Secretary. I reconstructed it and adapted it to this new function. An existing model, you say? Did you ever know Hans Vorlberg? He was a kind of mechanical genius, like yourself. Hans Vorlberg? Yes. Or maybe... I don't know. No. No. Sure, I understand. The number of automatons still functioning in this abandoned complex is amazing, though. My dear, one thing is for sure. For many years, I have been totally alone here. If that man ever came to this city, he left long, long ago. And as I am that man. That's the more and more I feel about this with his fucking mask on. <sighs> when you stepped on the train, you were trespassing on private property. Everything in this city, sweet lady, belongs to the state. 
and to all intents and purposes, the state in this city is me. My train is not a part of this factory. No. And besides, we never would have stopped here in the first place. It's if on the its tracks. Had needed winding. Well, as long as your train is at this station, it may be requisitioned and used for industrial purposes. No. Out of the question. And I forbid you to do so. Maybe I won't have to. Perhaps we can maybe come to some kind of agreement, my sweet lady. I hope so. And fast. Please excuse me. I have to go now. So be it. Listen. Obviously all this has been just one big miss out of the question. Please. So I thought I could reach everything, grab something, but no. Okay, let's have a look at this creepy, creepy shrine to a woman who probably knows nothing about him. 